face. <laughs> so, um. Hi there. Whoa. That's your, uh, that's your thumbnail right there. Okay, maybe. Um, <laughs> so we're here. We got some delivery. Yeah, we're at my apartment again. Even though Emery does not pay rent, um, she's, uh, you know, she's starting to push that limit a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally here like every day. I think his roommates hate me. No, nah, they don't. They're all fan mock, fan Marie's. Oh. But Rish wanted to plug something. Oh yeah, so. my dad texted me. First of all, I appreciate, and he really, he really appreciates everyone going to his video on YouTube and watching the health tips, I guess. But he thought that it's he he wanted another video to uh, to get more views because he's getting a little greedy today. Um, I just want this food open. <laughs> it's really hard. Anyway, so he wanted me to plug his other video, which is a smoking PSA, or it's like not a PSA, but it's like him talking about like smoking and you know how uh, he feels about that. So we will leave the link in the description, yes? Yes. <laughs> also, I just ordered Indian food. Mine vegetarian. Yeah, what do you got there? Alu. Alu. Can't read it. <laughs> it's upside down. Yeah. Alu Gobi. But yeah, so please go and watch that and comment on that uh, so that he stops bothering me about it. He literally texted me and was like, "You see my smoking video? Need some hits." Ball. <laughs> ball. He included ball. So, studying, eating, enjoying life. That's what life's all about, is just enjoying. And I got a lamb biryani, because that's like my favorite Indian dish. Can you hold this so I can pull that out? Mine has cauliflower in it. Look at mine. Doesn't this look very tasty? <laughs> you gotta get shot of it? How tasty does that look right there? Mm. It's pretty good. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hello. It is, what time is it? It's three or four? Three, four. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was three. Oh, gosh. Shoot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so we just spent our night in Alpha Phi. Um, we are studying for our midterms because we both have. Well, it's you just had your midterm. Marshmallow. No way. I want to buy. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> we have midterms on Thursday. You had a midterm today. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. It's Wednesday now. Huh. Um, and now we're going to McDonald's. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. And they have breakfast all day, but it's also 4 o'clock, which is when they should have breakfast, probably. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Got the Egg McMuffin without Canadian bacon. Sounds like Egg McMuffin. How's yours? Pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I kind of wish I had gotten the biscuit because I like biscuits, but <laughs> probably more calories. She thought there were only biscuits in the South. Yeah, I did. There are biscuits everywhere. Everywhere ha Alaska has biscuits. I really seriously read somewhere. I saw a graph of a map. I saw a map. <laughs> <laughs> That there are biscuits like only in like the southern states. <laughs> Maybe it's for all day, you know. Because right now is a normal breakfast hour. Does anyone know the answer to this? Please let us know. Yeah. I like saw the a map. South, like they like consume a lot of biscuits. Yeah. Compared to the north. Possibly. Ah! Hello. Um, it is Friday today and it's not a very nice day outside but, but it that's is the perfect reason we're going to universal Studios. you always take my punchlines <laughs> always <laughs> yeah well anyways that's i a guess punchline. you always take right. my punchlines is a punchline what saying you always take my punchlines that's a punchline no it's not your hair is fine well it's like Yesterday, me and Rish had, both had two midterms. Awful. Um, and then he had some more. So we decided that even though it's about to skip class, we're going to skip class because it's the class that we had that midterm in. We're putting um, this on the internet. I mean, I don't. Yeah, it's fine. It's like. Mm -hmm. 
So <laughs> we're just giving that class to go to Universal because it closed at six. Yeah. It might even close earlier, maybe, because no. they have that Halloween thing. Not, that no. opened at seven, closed at six. Okay. So we're going to Universal, but we're trying to pick up Matt. Matt. Matthew. Matthew. First, but, uh, but he, he is has not, not picking up. Uh, I've texted him like at least 12 times. He's not picking up his phone, called like four times. So he's either asleep or. Oh, he just really does not want to talk to Rish. Currently in the driver's spot to the Rish's car. There are a lot of people there. I don't know what they're doing. And we're at the Arclight Theater because he's returning a ticket. Matthew, who was in one of my vlogs, we were picking, we were literally driving to go pick him up because I don't know, we were kind of stupid for assuming that he would just come, but he has plans. So we were like halfway to LMU um, and then we had to go all the way back, which is like the complete opposite direction to go to Hollywood. So that took like an hour, even though it's like only, we only drove for like 15 to 20 minutes because of, I think it's like there was more traffic coming back. So we are in Hollywood right now and we're at Arclight returning um, a, a movie ticket because um, Rich bought it for him because we're going to see a movie. So that's what we're doing and we're just going to go to Universal anyways um, because we still have those year long or buy one day get the rest of the year free. So we're just going to go today and then try to take Matthew some other time because they have a lot of blackout days and we have midterms so we were like we might as well go because we're free so that's my update i feel like i haven't vlogged in so long so <laughs> this guy has a, a shirt on that says totally pterodactyl <laughs> what did it say that i don't know that's kind of stupid um but it was like the totally was spelled with a p in front of it too so yeah <laughs> Um, okay, so it is now three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood is only 20 minutes away from yeah. USC, so that was a trek. Yeah, trek. it was um, a Star Trek. It's very hard. Like, last time we came here, we just walked in and walked out. Yeah. So, let's see. It seriously took so long to get, like, very, like, that was one mile that we were waiting in line in traffic for. Should I go down here? Oh, nice. We just paid $18 for parking because it's stupid horror nights. Oh no, or are we going to just go into the park? I think maybe we should go because we only have three hours. Okay, but I'm going to get, like, I'm gonna get like a hot dog or something. In the park? No, like on our way over there. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to get a hot dog. So... We might not be able to get in because of Horror Nights. Yep. Which makes it the second Universal fail. And we also paid $18 for parking. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're so dumb. We actually made it in. So, it there in. was like one line and there's like no one. That was really weird outside. Yeah, it was very odd. Awesome. Look, we're inside the park. Yeah. We're walking through now. Finally. Eee. Okay, let's go. What are Simpsons? And then Fast and Furious. Uh, Fast and Furious, one last ride. There's like no one here. Nobody here right now. Really nice. The child's dream. Yeah. She just said we can go wherever we want because there's no way. I don't know if I picked the right path. I probably didn't. We're going back into Jurassic Park right now. Uh, seems like the lines are going to be pretty short for this as well. There's uh, literally no way for the last one, but then we... Yeah, the Simpsons ride? What do you think of the Simpsons ride? It was fun. It was cool. Very cool. And uh, now Single. we're gonna... Yeah, so Jurassic Park. Uh, I don't know what else there is to say. Let's see the line. Oh, Emery didn't want to get wet, so I had to give her my... Well, he thought the ponchos are free, and I was like, Rich, nothing is free. So I gave her my hoodie, but she stopped complaining. <laughs> oh, there's a lion. What is this joke? There is indeed a line this time. Very okay. sad. If you guys want to see this ride, I, I like vlogged the whole thing last time. I remember last time this ride just stopped. Yeah. I really like how I could be taking two midterms on a Thursday and at Universal Studios on a Friday. Yeah. It's like same. I agree. So real. It's a real bad Oh, 
the ultrasounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some ears. Oh my god, that's like a dead body. That's creepy, actually. That's creepy. Do you think they're doing that to like shit on Disney? It was like a major throwback to vlog before school got out. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> followed up with saying we're gonna come here in the summer. True, we did. And now it's October. my phone. Opens first at Arclight. Like when you see movies that's like in limited release in select new? cities. Huh? Is it, what are we seeing again? Uh, oh, it's called Room. Are meeting people there? Uh, Who suggested it? Who suggested it? Yeah. I've, I've known this movie's coming out, but it's like. It's there's so a, hot! There's a QA with the main actress uh, and the director after. The main actress is in this girl named Brie, Brie Larson. Is this your probably getting an Oscar nomination, by the way, so you might get to meet an Oscar nominee today. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Got some caffeine to caffeinate because I'm getting tired. Hey guys, we got to the parking lot of the Arclight and uh, Sleeping Beauty strikes again. So, letting her take a nap real quick. 
And she's awake now. Never mind. After that, we're gonna go in and hopefully she enjoys this movie because most movies she hates. That's not true. Okay, maybe. Well, I guess she's a tough sell to get to the movie in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay, updates later. The shape of, 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 of those relationships are, you know, off camera, are kind of mirroring what was going on on camera. And, uh, and as Bree said, you, you can't, you can't walk around with a, you know, with a deep and heavy set look on your face as one sometimes does on a film set, you know, and you, you can't become too self-absorbed and you can't take yourself too seriously when there's a kid who just comes up and, you know, tells you what his favorite, like what he likes to have for his breakfast, what his favorite Star Wars character is. I hope that the movie it was good. Oh, good. <laughs> I just realized I'm so nervous about you seeing it. Also, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, good. We got the thumbs up from the smart guy, so we're good. Um, so it was an interesting process because we were shooting in order, and so you could feel over the course of the five weeks shooting in room that because the space was so small and the crew was constantly bumping into one another and getting in, in each other's way that there was this tension of, let's get out of here. And uh, you could really feel it during the days leading up to and then shooting the escape sequence. I really felt like the crew was like, Brie, get us out of here. Let's, <laughs> let's do this. And um, there was a lot of this like fantastic talk amongst the crew of like, God, won't it be great once we're out of here and Brie, Gosh, it's going to be so much easier for you once you're out of here. And I was like, we haven't talked to Dr. Briere because you would know that that's not going to be the case. It's going to. Be. Once we hit the second half of the movie, you're just dealing with so many other factors, and and that's when Ma emotionally is is dealing with the effects of Roman. So that's when it really turned into this sort of emotional marathon. Hey guys. Okay, so it is. Um, I think it's like very late. What time is it? 12.07. Today was just a very, very fun day. Lots of things. Lots of fun stuff. It was a really good way to unwind after this very busy week. It was like a very midterm filled week. It was not a very fun week. And then I have my accounting midterm. Did not do well in the last one, so I'm going to start studying tomorrow. Um, like all day tomorrow and then Sunday and then it's on next Friday, but I'm really hoping that I'll do better because I just did not do very well in it. So that was like the, that was really, really cool. Um, I wish Rish was here to, like, debrief on that experience because, um, we, like, saw it together, but we actually took his friend back and I, like, just don't want to make people feel uncomfortable by vlogging them, so I will probably debrief with him tomorrow or sometime when I see him next, but it's not, like, going to be the initial reaction, but basically we went to, I don't, I guess it's, like, a screening of that movie. I had, I knew nothing about the video. I'm not, like, very into movies, like, I don't go see a lot of movies ever, I like movies, but I just never go to see them. But Rish is, like, very, very into movies. Um, so he always tries to get <laughs> me to go. But, um, yeah, that was the first one I went to. I didn't know anything about it, so it was, like, very... I think it was, like, really cool to not know anything about it because he and his friend Carter were saying that um, they had seen the trailer and, it, and the trailer gives away a lot of the movie. And uh, literally all I knew about Room was what Rish told me. He was, like... Basically, these two people are forced to live in a room together, and I think that's pretty much it because either, like, the conversation ended or, like, it got interrupted, but that's all I knew about it, so it was, like, to me, it was, like, a very, like, new thing, and it was, like, an experience in itself, but for them, they were, like, yeah, the trailer gave away a lot of it, but it was just, like, they really liked it, I really liked it, it was a really good film, and I will definitely talk about it with Rish because it was cool. Yeah, and I'm just gonna watch this, probably watch some of either like the office or the mindy project or something and then go to sleep so yeah today was a fun day and then tomorrow will be full of studying hey guys okay so it is saturday and today feels like a sunday i think because i usually do like fun stuff on saturday and study all of sunday and yesterday we did a lot of fun stuff like a full day of fun stuff so now i feel like it's sunday but it's saturday so i've been doing sunday things woke up at one which I'm actually pretty happy about because I've been getting pretty little sleep just because I had midterms and tests to study for. Um, and I 
nah, I was like very tired yesterday, so I think I went to bed at like 1 or 2, and then we woke up at 12, and Zoe um, was here in the morning, in the afternoon, and we went to breakfast at like 1. Yeah, so I've already washed, I've like washed it, I like unloaded the dishwasher for our suite, I think I'm by myself again, I don't really know where everyone else is. Um, <laughs> I did two loads of laundry, one of them was my, just my clothes and stuff, and then I don't think, I, th I don't think anyone thinks to wash their towels, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wash my towels, cause I want, I mean, I, I kinda get grossed out by towels, so I was like, hey guys, I'm gonna wash everyone's towels, so I did two loads of laundry, I'm waiting on that right now, you guys don't care, I'm gonna stop talking to you, okay, anyways, um, so now I'm gonna start doing my homework, I have a marketing, I have a, an accounting midterm next week, and for my last one I failed, so I'm trying to do really well on this one, so I'm starting studying today, and I actually think I can do better on this one, because it's like, I'm starting earlier. Also, I was talking to Callie and Rish, okay, so as you guys probably know, I started a second channel of my sister Callie, because I've been wanting her to start a channel for a really long time, um, but I just like, I don't know what it is, I say this all the time, but like, really off my schedule and off my posting game, um, so I think in order... Like, one of the most important things for me is to be able to post, like, high-quality videos. Like, I'm not going to post videos that I don't think are good videos or, like, helpful or, like, I don't know. They have to be some, they have to be up to my standards, of course. I'm not just going to post, like, any random video. So I think I'm just going to take a break from just trying to post, like, a random video every, like, three weeks or something and just start, um pre-filming or focusing on getting a consistent schedule started for next month and like the month after that because I'm like a full-time student I mean there are a lot of like full-time student youtubers and I just do not know how people do it um I have like to go around everyone's schedule from my apartment because you can literally hear everything in this room so like I have to have it like quiet when I'm filming if I want like you know I don't know what I'm saying now so I think I'm just going to take a break from just trying to post random videos on my main channel. So instead of just like constantly worrying about having to post something, I'm just going to start. I'm going to take a little YouTube break. And this is the first like actual break that's on purpose. Usually it's just me like accidentally not really posting anything because I just don't get to it. But I think this one's going to be on purpose and I am just not really going to worry about trying to get a video up until... November where I want to have like a very consistent schedule I just want to try it for like one month or two I don't know you guys are probably sick of hearing this like I just like my YouTube is very important to me and I want to be like I want to feel like successful at it you know just like for a month or two so <laughs> we're gonna see how that goes I'm gonna plan out my schedule for November today I'll probably um hang out with Rish and do homework because he has like a bunch of like stuff to do too. So I'm excited to debrief that movie too because I want to hear what he says about that. So yeah. Should I introduce Sabir in these vlogs? Sure. Sabir. Sabir, you want me to vlog? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's your uh, YouTube channel? Anne-Marie Chase. What do, you, what do you think a vlog channel by Anne-Marie would be called? What's your first guess? Uh, Anne-Marie Vlogs? <laughs> yes! So boo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is my roommate, uh, Sabir. Hi, I'm Sabir. Uh, I'm Rish's roommate. At least yeah, I'm. yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's a um, he's a sophomore as well in college. He's a uh, what's your major, Sabir? I'm doing neuroscience. Neuroscience. He's all about them brains. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah, cool. I've known Sabir for like since the beginning of freshman year. He was like one of the first people I knew here at USC. <laughs> You're way off. Okay, that's not look. That's not even like. What? Not even close. The You're like. The camera angle. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, I guess I'm in the picture now. Yeah, I've known Rich for almost a year and a half. It's been fun. <laughs> Hope for many more. Hope for many more. Eh, yeah. I don't know about that. Okay. But, uh, nice meeting you. JK. <laughs> JK. JK. Spoiler right now. Oh yeah, it's Sabir. Okay, here's a very strange <laughs> thing about Sabir. Uh. He eats something called Soylent. Want to explain what that is, Sabir? Yeah, so Soylent is a meal replacement. It's, well, it's actual meals, and they're powdered, and this is 1.5. 2.0 is coming out now. It's, I think it's already been selling. I'm, I ordered that, so that's pre-bottled meals. But okay, so essentially what this is, is he doesn't eat food. 
What did you say? What did you say about food earlier, Sabir? No, I didn't say it's. Like, Sabir, tell me food. food is overrated. No, it is. <laughs> you straight no. up, you word for word said food is overrated. I don't think food is overrated, but you I think said so. that, Sabir. No, don't I didn't. deny it. You said food is overrated in an Uber one time. I probably misspoke. I think that obviously food is better, but this is very convenient, and I like. Yeah. I think it tastes pretty good. I okay, know. I think it's disgusting. It's essentially like, like dirt that you drink and you eat it instead of dinner, instead of tasty food, which I enjoy. Let me show them I didn't. Right, okay, so. Take mine, take mine. Okay, go get yours. Thanks for being my vlog, Sabir. Oh yeah, well, let, me, let me show what this is. Here's a real dinner, this is actual food. I've been a successful pescatarian for like this whole oh, yeah. month. It's That's, really not bad at all. Pescatarianism. This is Sabir's Soylent. Well, I have to mix it first. Is that what is that's dinner? That's that's dinner, is it not Samir? No, it's a supplement. I'm not I'm not only eating soy lunch, but I just think um, it's better than just eating a bunch of granola bars. Yeah, I think it tastes fair. pretty good. Um, I don't know. To eat two point oh apparently tastes better. Two point oh. Amory Vlog's not getting any soy lunch endorsements anytime soon. Clearly, from Rish. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, here's here's my meal. It's pretty pretty tasty. I had a slice. It's like a salmon pizza. Interesting, very Alaskan. Okay, well the vlog suck. Really good to discuss the movie. So that movie was amazing. Uh, that was the best movie I've seen this year. I've seen a ton of movies this year. That was the best movie I've seen this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Jobs was really good too. And I thought this was like a little bit better. I thought it was better than The Martian. It was super heavy, really. Um, it's definitely a movie that you have to see in theaters. Yeah. Cause like I was, wasn't I telling you like if I were at home I'd be like watching my phone and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's it's a movie. That like you don't want to watch it, but then you have. Apparently, to. it's a bestseller book, which I had never heard of, but um, apparently it was like a really popular book. I'd seen that it did well at like film festivals recently, and there was a Q and A at the at Arc Life. I vlogged some of that. Yeah, so she, so she vlogged it, but um, you know the Arc Life has a lot of Q and As, but I thought you know it'd be cool and was able to drag Anne Marie to that, but um, I mean, luckily it was probably the best movie to be in my opinion. And uh, this guy sees a lot of movies too. Yeah, it was, it's really really good. I don't know when it opens wide because a lot of these movies open like limited in LA first, and then um, uh, wide in the rest of the country. It'll probably open wide within the next couple of weeks, and it will definitely be up for Best Picture uh, at the Oscars. And that the girl who's in it is gonna be up for best actress probably, and the kid who's in it, by the way. Oh my gosh! The only thing that you told me was it's about two people forced to be in a room together. Yeah. So, so I had no idea what was going on. Don't be watch the trailer for this movie, by the way, because the trailer actually gives a lot of stuff away. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It's really heavy, but it's in a good way. It's like yeah. super intense in some parts. It really has your heart pounding, and. Uh, I don't know. I I'm I may have shed a few tears here and there. Maybe. Did you really? I no. Uh, I was close. I like, was pretty close. To, I got kind of choked up sometimes. Like there were some pretty emotional moments and uh, got got a little misty eyed maybe. A little little uh, you know someone was cutting onions nearby. It was. I mean, Anne Marie like even liked this movie a lot. Like I turned to her at the end and I was like, "What'd you think of it?" And she's like. It was so good. <laughs> Why am I always eating in these vlogs? It's always like me right here eating. Yeah, but it was it was an amazing movie. Yeah. And um, oh, look at this backlighting right now. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, definitely definitely would recommend it as soon as you get a chance to see it. And um, see definitely see Steve Jobs too. By the way. I want to see Steve Jobs. Yeah, we'll go see it. Done. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of a, this is kind of a movie that I feel like could get kind of not noticed just because it's like a small, it's like an indie movie. I wouldn't uh, see it. Yeah. See? So like, just, you should see it though. Uh -huh. You and Anne Marie saw it. I mean, that means it's, and she thought it was good. So that means, good movie. Really loved it. And, uh, hope that every other movie I bring Anne Marie to. And you don't it R. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's. Uh, they swear like twice or something, right? Yeah, and there's drugs, I guess. I don't know, I guess don't. I guess a, it would be rated R. I guess if you're. If you. 
Uh, under 17, ask your parents' permission first before using it's the internet. It's not that scary, though, because I hate scary movies. It's not, it's not. I think it's going to be scary, but it's not. It's, it's not a horror movie at all. And yeah, it's really, really good. So, there's that review mm -hmm. of Room. Excellent movie. Loved it. Loved it. This is like something that you would puke up. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, this is like so unappetizing. <laughs>